All right. <clears throat> Brett's here from the Striper Ball. But Jamie Rowe from Guardian. Not from the Striper Ball. Not from the Striper Ball, <laughs> but, uh, but has been there. Has been to the Striper Ball. And has seen the cutest baby in the world. Yes, sir. Justin David. Mm. Not proud of this at all. <laughs> that was Already. the one in February that was my edge out. Okay. I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the last name of Rowe? Yes, sir. All righty. New album, Swing Swang Swamp. Should have been called Feel, Feeling, Felt. It's got a lot of feeling in it. Tell us a little bit about uh, some of the songs. Well, all these songs back here are ours. And <laughs> actually, they're not. Preacher and a Bear is someone else's, but we made it ours. Did you make but, a video uh, for that? Not yet. We did it. What we did was CCM TV did a, a little acoustic unplug type thing earlier this spring, and they're starting to air things. But uh, for the most part, that's, we haven't made any videos yet. As of right now, we're scheduled to make one for way home back, and uh, we're still in, up in the air about that right now. We don't, we don't know and stuff. It's kind of in all summers right now is the current single, and I'd actually rather do one for that than way home back right now because, you know, I just I think it, it lends itself more to video. But uh, it's kind of going to be a drag to a video two months after the record's been out, you know, when the single's out. So I don't know. But uh, getting back to the record, we got way home back, which is just a kind of a Zeppelin-esque kind of stomp thing. In all summers, kind of in excess meets Guardian. And, kind of putting a blender somewhere along the way. Uh, Come On Everyone is rather Beatlesque influenced. Like the Sun sounds like a, just a good 70s pop song, you know, I'll tell you the truth. I mean, in a sense, not in the synthesized 80s, 80s way at all. And uh, Rich Man Over the Line, another Beatle influenced song. Tony Palacios makes his voc lead vocal debut on that one. Your Love is, was nice. That was a song I wrote that actually has a 40-piece uh, uh, orchestra in there, which was nice. I think it was 40. I don't know. Maybe, maybe We'll say 40 just for that. Uh, Don't Say It's Over is a David Bach slash Rolling Stones kind of song. It just talks about relationship and uh, just, you know, real life about male and female relationships. And uh, See You in Heaven, of course, is, uh, Tony wrote that. He's missing his mom one day. And he wrote that song about just how he's dealing with that, knowing that she's in heaven. And uh, there's still pain sometimes when he, he holds on to that promise. Let the Whole World is the first praise song Guardian's ever done, really, and uh, I think a nice vocal. So, <laughs> uh, Preacher and a Bear, I said that earlier, it's an old swing song that uh, Dave's dad used to play for him when he was real little, and he always liked that. We have a little uh, horn section on there we got directly from Opryland, so they're semi-authentic. So. Still in my mind is uh, another kind of 70s pop song, when you say? It's, uh, a little bit there. That was actually one of the first songs that we cut for the record, and uh, one of the first ones to make the record was that one. And Why Don't We is Carl, Carl Ney feeling rather psychedelic, I suppose. And like, it's cool. You know, that song reminds me of a bruising heart delight, yeah. but nevertheless fun. It's a cool song. That's that. Now this That's Swing Swang Swung in a nutshell by me. So. This album was originally called Wire and Wood. Is it change? Um, because I was outvoted, that's why. <laughs> Actually, you know what? We sit sitting there wiring wood. I mean, that was that defines an acoustic record. You think, okay, acoustic. And um, you know, as you can tell after listening to the record, we didn't stick to a solely, truly acoustic method. You know, we, we just distorted. I mean, there's no acoustic at all in Bill said It's over. We mixed it out after the fact. So it's like, you know, this is really kind of like there's. It takes on so many different directions and stuff. We're thinking, you know, it's like swing, swing, swung. Dave thought of that or something like that. I forget why. But uh, we started thinking, you know, it's probably more appropriate because why would it almost sound serious? Like, here's an acoustic project, and this sounds like, what? You know, so that's more of the record to me. Right now you're touring with Steve Taylor. How's it going? It's going good, really good. We uh, <coughs> It's the first time in uh, the history of Guardian we've ever done nine shows in a row, which that's coming up next week, so I'm looking forward to that. First time you headlined, too. Or uh, yeah, not headlined. Uh, yeah, well, you know, we've we done, so we done two weeks last year with DC Talk on the West Coast, so that was interesting, but it was nothing like this where it was like a, a tour, a full 30 city tour and everything, so it actually has its ups and downs, I mean, it's obviously, I mean, we like playing longer, you know, there's only certain songs we can play within 45 minutes, and, uh, but the fact is, there's one thing I do like is the fact that we can go out after the show, after it's all said and done, we can get a shower during Steve's set, so we don't be offending people and everything, so, I don't know, we're, fe we're feeling, he can build us as the clean and fresh guardian tour. No, but it's cool. This is uh, this is one of the times. Yeah, <laughs> this is really thing that's really cool about this is we're meeting more and more people 
who say that, you know, I've heard of Guardian, but I've never, you know, they wouldn't have come come to see us if it wasn't for Steve Taylor, and uh, and we're win we're winning people over, which is, I mean, that's what you kind of hope to accomplish on the touring, as far as the business level of touring, and uh, I think it's nice too because we obviously were bringing people in that never heard of Steve Taylor, I think he's still going to synthesize, you know, you know, new wave thing, which he's not, he's very alternative, you know, like that, so always has. Been. It's a compl it's a complimenting bill, I think. And Hocus Picks, nuts, you know, I mean, in the most in the most pleasant way you can imagine. So. Plans for a home video. <coughs> mm. We were supposed to do one that was supposed to be released at the same time, but we have some footage that uh, we recorded in the studio, but I don't know what's going to come of that. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much certain within the next year, depending on the record, record how many flavor and stuff, how, what they decide, basically, we're, we're going to have a full-fledged home video. And it should be a way better quality than Streets of Fire because we'll actually put money into this one. You know, so Streets of Fire did good. <coughs> Streets of Fire was good, but what was cool about that is we basically made something from nothing. We didn't have a budget. We threw together some clips we had. You know, a lot of people and interview footage on the, on the set, but, you know, a lot of people wanted Guardian Home Video, and we just, you know, at the time, you know, we were still a band. People weren't sure about Guardian, so they didn't want to invest, like, money into us, you know, to for a full scale, like, you know, $80,000 video. Easy stuff. Stuff video. Yeah, I could see this, which is remarkable. And I, I hope someday we can do something like that. But, uh, we're content, we've been lucky with the videos and the MTV thing, we've been lucky, you know, just, we've always had decent directors and stuff, we've always take, took something and just made it work, and this time around, it looks like there may be a budget in there, yeah, so yeah, hopefully we'll pick you up now. Yep, we are not there anymore. Uh, basically, Pachyderm Records, I mean, Word, Word owned, owned the controlling share of Pachyderm, and they just decided, as guys, John, Dino, it's cool you have a record company, but you basically, production, is your forte? Let us do let us do the records. So they took the bands that they thought could survive, which it was, it was a drag because there's I think some good bands that got left left behind. But uh, which doesn't mean they're bad bands. It just means that we're just wasn't interested in marketing them at that time. So maybe they'll get picked up. But they took us and Greg Long. Off That's the kind of a, a reach for them. Mer being you know, I mean the Grant's label going with uh, <coughs> so called rock yeah. group. That's what well, you still got. It was yeah. What's cool though is like. We actually we jumped in. We, we like all the people in Murray. We've actually become a priority with them because we, coming in just as a new band to them, you know, we we already sell more units than most of their artists. So we, you know, we jumped into priority status. You know, and so we, we were always the flagship band for Packner, and that was nice. I mean, I, I had no bitter feelings about Packner whatsoever about that whole thing. I went through a funny time. But I, don't, I don't have any bitter feelings. But uh, and with with Murr, it's like <clears throat> it's kind of like going from high school to college to an extent, you know. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good Good you, know, you know what, the th funny thing happens, so, you know, this record might sell 20 copies, you know, we might figure out, you know, you never know. You, know, you don't know if it was like the timing thing or if it was marketing. Yeah, you bought it. But, uh, no, we're looking forward to the Murr thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite song in one? Any album? Overall, Never Say Goodbye. Because that was the song that you know I got in the band with, and uh, there's a few tweaks here and there, but that was big. that was the song that got me in. And just you know every concert, I was like, "Never hey, say goodbye." Somebody's yelling, you know, or uh, take up your cross. Take up your cross. People, yeah. I don't think or, people understand <coughs> why you don't you choose not to, to play that one live. Well, take it, actually, it's really it's really hard to sing for me to tell you the truth, and uh, it's just it's not so much that it's really high, but at the times when it's high, it's, it's hard to. Uh, it's like it's like singing a a full page in a magazine. It's like one big long sentence, you know, and stuff. So we're gonna work on some stuff. I mean, a lot of you know, do some tuning changes whatsoever, you know, whatsoever works and stuff. So we're gonna eventually add that to the set. But between you and don't print this, I don't like that song at all. I think it's ridiculous. I hate it. I hate it more than anything. Which one? Take it across. I think it's. I think it's. Well, I knew you didn't like it. I despise it. Song. So don't print that at all. <laughs> I don't want to blow up for someone. Cut that out. So. Okay, and uh, let's see. One thing your fans that you want your fans to know that they probably don't that we're, we're real people. I mean, well, you know, that's kind of vague. We're real people. We don't, you know, we may, you know, look all dandy and stuff on the record covers and everything, but you know, it's like I, I drive an old beat up Honda with a side bash down. Did you get just, a <clears throat> It's on the way. So there's a drag. I'm, I haven't been home long enough. To to get that together and stuff, I can't deal with it. They can still have my deposit checks, so hopefully I'll get one. But uh, I mean, it's like I live in a, I live in a town house, like style apartment. I don't have a big mansion, 
you know, we're not rich, we're far from it, you know, we make a living doing this, which is, which is nice, we're one of the few that can do that. So I, I think people, when they put us on a pedestal, I mean, I hope you admire us because of, of our walk and our music, not because you think we're superhuman, because we're definitely not, you know, and everything. Just, just know that, <clears throat> just when people are in the media, you know, sorry Janice, but magazines and CDs and stuff make people just seem superhuman. And the fact is, you know, Mike, Mike's a person with faults, and, you know, Guardian's people with faults and everything. And I think when people accept that and realize, you know, hey, we're not, you know, I don't mind being your hero, but if you're going to follow an example, follow, follow Jesus' example, because I'll let you down. You know, people will always let you down, but Christ will always stay the same. I mean, he can't let you down. It can't happen. So just, you know, I don't, I don't, just be, walk that fine line. So if you want to make a Christian band any, or anybody a hero, that's fine, but just don't treat them as superhuman. Don't, I don't, I idolize them, I should say. But people were real, sorry, you know. <clears throat> All right, and to close this up, uh, tour plans for the future. Are you going to be uh, headlining? Uh, yeah, we, we we wanted to do something in the, in the spring. I don't know if it will work out. As, as of right now, it's not going to work out because of cost. But we'd like to do something like this again, where we uh, you know play with a little bit of a different band. We want to go out and pray for rain, PFR, and audio adrenaline. Mm -hmm. So you know, I don't know. I mean, I'd love to. I personally love to pop up on the next DC talk or Michael W. Smith tour. I don't know. If we're a little too intense for that audience yet, but at the same time, with this new record and stuff, we could pull certain songs and, and be compatible. You know, so we don't know. As right now, what we're going to do in January, we're going to do a Spanish record. Really? Yeah. yeah. You didn't know how to tell you that? No. We're going to we're going to take uh, ten songs from the last three records, just probably more of our, our mellower songs and stuff like that for that Latin market. And you speak uh, Spanish? not at all. I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a guy. Come, I don't Taco Bell. It's not <clears throat> but we're going to have a guy come in and just work work through the songs with him, kind of like Petra did. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll be out pretty soon. Which, if anything, if you don't understand the words, you're going to get remixed Guardian songs. Because we're going to have to go back and remix them. So they're going to sound you know, yeah. a little different. Yeah. And uh, then in February, as of right now, in February, we're supposed to start a brand new record, which will, uh, you know, it's not going to be another acoustic record. We're not, not going to repeat ourselves ever. You know, we, we try not to. And so, so I've, got, I've got probably more songs than I've ever written in my life right now. And... Uh, Tony's got some cool ones. I know Dave's got some cool ones. I don't know what Carl's got up his sleeve, but I'm sure he usually comes to the table with one or two. So, if not, uh, by the way, Taco Bell, if you're if you're listening to this or reading this, you got to sponsor this guy. He's keeping you in business. Yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm cutting down quite a bit today for some reason. I want a burrito, but I mean Taco Bell. I was gonna get you one and surprise you, but then I seen they were <coughs> catering the food in for the catering was good. Was it? Yeah, I was gonna check. And uh, I'll let Jamie make. I don't know if the media is on to this yet, coming in February. Oh, yeah. Actually, they're on. <laughs> yeah. What's that? The people in Mar I'm going to have a baby boy the second week of February, which I'm excited. His name is Christian. I've never met him, but I'm really crazy about him, so it's very cool. But <coughs> yeah, the more people are going to run with that pretty soon. <laughs> are they? Yeah. They're going to put that in their release. Probably. 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 Cool. Well, that's pretty much it. Any party <coughs> comments? Um, Anything to say to all those guardian guard thanks. dogs out there? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. If it wasn't for people in the band, I couldn't be. I couldn't come up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's about time, by yeah. the way. Good crowd. Good deal. And they'll come up again. What's up?